ways to onlookers, almost like a royal couple, just mixed with many tender moments with each other. That quiet affection all the more amazing, considering the paparazzi frenzy following them everywhere. This is the scene at the Hotel Cipriani today. Water taxis constantly arriving with guests, heavy security in place, and lots of paparazzi. The top secret guest list, not that secret anymore, with the arrivals of Matt Damon with a wave and his wife Luciana, Ellen Barkin said to have hosted a mall's bridal shower, Clooney's cousin Miguel Ferrer, and buddy Richard Kind, and even a woman who reportedly dated George briefly, now a friend, Karen Duffy, behind the shades and hat. At one point, a mall is spotted with a hat box, and that's not a designer logo. The letters A and G seemingly stand for Amal and George. The logo on water, taxi flags, and even on the jackets of the Hotel Cipriani staff. The festivities reportedly start here tonight with a dinner at around 6.30. As for Amal's parents, Ramsey and Barrio, they're hosting a dinner to celebrate the marriage as well, but that's not until October the 25th in London. And as we reported, the Clooney party has the hotel booked exclusively for the next three days. And what a tab that will be. The 44 rooms run over $1,100 a night each. The 55 suites over $4,600. Total cost over $900,000 for the weekend. Security at the hotel will be super tight. Reports are that staff will have to wear microchips to avoid any unwanted intruders. As for the IDs themselves on Saturday night, reports now have them here at the Amman Grande. The 500-year-old Palazzo is right on one of the city's busiest canals, which should be swarming with paparazzi tomorrow. The Cavalli Palace is reportedly where a second wedding, a civil ceremony, will take place on Monday. That's necessary to make it legal because the couple aren't Italian and they aren't having a Roman Catholic ceremony. Another requirement? Two witnesses. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem.